In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can stream to Twitch in just a few easy steps. So first, you're gonna to wanna to use an application like OBS Studio or Streamlabs. So download that on your PC now. I'm gonna show you how to stream using OBS Studio specifically. So as you can see here, I have the most up-to-date OBS Studio pulled up. And I first would also test your internet speeds, making sure you have a high upload speed. You're gonna want an upload speed of around or above eight megabytes per second, just to make sure that you're gonna be streaming in a good quality. And then once you have OBS Studio pulled up, you're gonna to want to create a scene and then add sources to that scene. You can see here, I already have a lot of scenes created, so we're gonna start a new one. You're gonna hit that plus sign. You're gonna add a scene, name it whatever you want. And then here, you're gonna to wanna to add sources. So we need to add three things, your webcam, your game capture display, and your microphone, whatever you're gonna be using. So I'm gonna click in here, and I'm first gonna click on display capture. You can add game capture, but display will capture the full screen display of whatever you're using, which is easiest if I'm gonna be switching between games. So I'm gonna name it full screen. I'm gonna create new, hit okay. And as you can see, it automatically adds on my display one. You can set it up to another display if you have other displays you want to stream at that time. So just having it on my main display, hit okay. Next, I'm adding in an audio input capture device. So audio input is gonna be my microphone. So I'm gonna name it test mic. I'm gonna hit okay. And then here is you select the audio device. I have a Yeti microphone plugged in. So I'm gonna wanna select that as my input device. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add in my webcam. So I'm gonna select video capture device. Make a test webcam. And then here, I select whatever webcam I'm using, which I have full HD webcam. I'm already using this webcam to record this video, so it's not gonna show up, but I'm just gonna hit okay there. And then I'm gonna wanna make sure my webcam source is showing up above my full screen so that I can size it and put it into a specific location on my screen, which is really easy to do. Next, as you can see here, the test mic and the desktop audio is showing up. You're gonna to wanna to make sure these are uh, as close together as possible. You don't want one overshadowing the other. And then next, we're gonna to wanna to make sure this OBS Studio is connected to your Twitch account. So you wanna to go to File, Settings, and then in your settings, go to Stream. And then here, you're gonna to want to connect to Twitch and then you're gonna need a stream key. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can connect your account, which if you click on this, it'll bring up Twitch and you just log in. That will be the easiest way. If for any reason you can't do that and you need to add your stream key, then pull up your browser, go to your Twitch account, go to your settings, go to your creator dashboard, and then in your creator dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to go to your settings your and your stream settings, and then here is your primary stream key. Don't show this to anyone. This is specific to your channel. You're gonna to wanna to copy that. And then here, I've pasted in my stream key. And then I'm going to hit okay. And then that is now linked. Next, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that my output settings are good. So going back into the output settings, make sure that you're in simple mode. We're not gonna show you advanced settings. I have another video for that if you wanna look through the channel. Uh, the video bitrate can stay at 6,000 kilobytes per second. You can lower that if you're finding lagging issues uh, and it's not you're not having good performance. Don't touch the audio bitrate. For the encoder, I like to make sure it's on NVENC. This is, means it's pulling for my GPU instead of my CPU. Uh, encoder quality, you can have this set to whatever your computer can handle. I just have it set to quality for now. And then last, we check the video settings. So your base canvas resolution should be whatever size of the monitor you have. So mine is 2560 by 1440. And then your output scaled resolution, it can match your base canvas, but if you're streaming to Twitch, it's best if you can have it 1280 by 720. And then your downscale filter, you're gonna want to be Lanxos, uh, sharpened scaling. And then your FPS set to 60. If you're having issues, you can lower this to 30, but if your computer can handle it, have it be at 60. And then hit apply and hit OK, and then that's it. Now you are set and good to stream. So with everything linked up, all you're gonna have to do is click Start Streaming, and it will start streaming your display straight to Twitch. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, watch as many videos as you can. 
uh, and take care.